Hello and welcome to my new tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to use LCFX, which is a program used with COD4 that helps do uh, smooth flybys and splines and stuff like that. So what you want to do first is download LCFX in a RAW file. When you open it up, you get this folder here, and inside that you have source tutorials, chords.txt, LCFX installer, and README. Uh, the README doesn't contain that much, and the tutorials. It does tell you how to do it, but it's not that good, really. It's not as good as you'd hope. Anyway, um, to install it, what you do is go into your Call of Duty 4 folder, and inside, go to your Players folder, and just simply drag, drag and drop them in. But well, I've already installed it, so I don't need to do that. And then you double-click LCFX with MR install here. Double click that, which then gives you LCFX EXE and MR well MCR installer EXE. Um, you don't need to touch them just yet, but you will soon. Okay, first things first. Load up COD4. Okay, um, I tend to load a mod, well you don't have to, but I tend to just because it gives you Shoutcaster, because you are going to need it really. Um, you want to load up a dev map, so forward slash dev map space mp whatever map you want. I'm going to use crash for this. Okay, go to Shoutcaster, wait for it to load a bit. Right, first things first, find out where you want to go. So I'm going to start here and end over by the tall building over there. So, first things first, forward slash <coughs> log file space one. That will now start recording everything that you type into console, which is what you need. To record the coordinates for this first file, you type view POS, view POS, enter. That records this first one. Then you move, go to Mano here, go to console, type view POS again. Press enter, move to your next one, console, view pass, enter, blah blah, all the way, and it'll go up here, and then same here, and then same here. Once you're done, and you've got everywhere you want to go, quit the game. <coughs> it's important that you actually quit COD4 itself, not just close it down, but you actually have to quit it so it stops recording. Right, um, if you used a normal dev map, you didn't use a mod like I did, you want to go inside your main folder and find console mp.log and it will be in there. But I used a mod, so I'll be looking in here. Uh, this one, console mp.log. Go all the way down to the bottom where you will find, or should find, these numbers here this section here, this has all your numbers that you're going to need ok so go back, go back into your players oh shit where's my... Oh. get your chords.txt open this up, now oh, I've already used this so these numbers here are the same as the ones here as you can probably see and as you can see what I've done is I've removed all the brackets and colons. I've kept the minus symbols but removed brackets and colons. And that's what you need to do. Do that for all the numbers so it basically ends up looking like this. And then you save the chords text. Close that down. So you save this and then you click LCFX and double click it. And it should pop up any second. There we are. You get this little box pop up. Uh, this one is when you rotate around a single player, and this one is for when you zoom in and out of first person to third person. I haven't actually used them myself yet. I have. I've got a similar sort of thing which doesn't use this, but the one we want to use is this one here, 3D spline. So you click that. This pops up. That's okay. Um, I'm not 100% sure what these do, 
maybe someone else might be able to tell you but I'm not 100% sure. <coughs> um, this number here, number of frames, I've read somewhere that you want to set it to no more than 1953. I read it on Tech 9 somewhere, I'm not exactly, like I say, I, I don't really know but it seems to work alright when you use this. Click OK. And then you get these three boxes pop up. Um, you don't actually need to do anything with them. You don't have to, but I think you can, but like I say, you don't have to. Um, so let's close these down. Everything's done now that you need to do. Let's close that. And what you end up with is these two config files here 3D spline and 3D spline constant. These are what you're going to use a second. So, what you want to do is put them inside your main folder. As you can see, I've already got them, but it seems that it's exactly the same. I'll just copy them over. Boop, job done. And that's all you need to do. Now we can go on and record it. Okay, again, if you use the mod, use the same mod. Uh, load up a dev map again. Shoutcaster, right, now in console, type forward slash EXEC space 3D spline dot CFG. So exec 3D spline dot CFG. Okay, now that's your that's the config loaded up with all the numbers, all the coordinates. Now to actually play it, you'll have to type in something in a second. But first of all, what you want to do is get rid of the HUD because it doesn't look very good. So that's CG underscore draw two D space zero. That gets rid of everything. Now, as you'll see in a second when I get it moving, it um, moves really fast, so you won't be able to use fraps for this. Because, as I'll show you now, that's how quickly it moves. So, fraps is useless, basically. So, what you want to do is record with your AVI demo. I've already done a tutorial how to use this, so I'm not going to go over it too much now, but um, basically, have a look on my channel, there's a tutorial how to use AVI demo. Basically you want to start it now, start it recording, and then type forward slash VSTR space fly G1. Enter, close console, and as you can see it's already started. I'm going to cancel this now because I've already recorded it beforehand. Um, so there's no real need to watch it all doing. But once you're done, close down Cut 4, render it in virtual dub. <coughs> like I said, let's get rid of that. Yes, yeah, so I've already done a tutorial how to use virtual dub. So what you then do is um, render your video and then put it in your whatever you need to do. Um, two things I would say: one, don't overuse it too much. If you overuse it too much, it loses its effect and its appeal. So I won't only use it when you have to, really, just to get the look that you want. Don't use it too much. And Actually, there's only one thing I wanted to say. Anyway, hope this helps, and thanks for watching.